So did you want to talk about Raw, uh, D.I.? Well, I watched it. Right. Um, I, I missed the first 45 minutes. But I'm really, so what, what happened in the beginning? At the beginning, uh, MVP comes out, you know, and he's kind of putting over um, uh, Ziggler. Ziggler comes out, you know, and the, the storyline they're kind of trying to push is that Ziggler basically brought back um, McIntyre to WWE because I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe D.I., if you guys remember, and I don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, did Ziggler bring when Drew McIntyre came back, no, I, no, was he clue, teaming no with Z- Ziggler? Yeah, they were tag. Oh, yeah, I think they might have been, yeah, 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 yeah. been tag right. team champions too. Okay, so somehow they're kind of using. Let's find out some story where we can. Okay, the story is Ziggler after this guy left the promotion brought him back. Okay, so now he's just basically saying that you know, uh, you know, we've seen this a million times that you know he owes him everything thanks to him. He is who he is. We've seen this a million times. Obviously, Z- obviously, Ziggler, MVP, and Drew McIntyre, all three of them have star presence. They're all very good on the mic, but it's very hard to get into this because you know Ziggler ain't going to win, and that's not a real good story to me. It's not like, a, like wow, I really got to – you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have me um, that interested, okay? But everything This is else- what Powell, Powell's point of – Powell's POV on this. Yeah. A good segment with MVP and Ziggler using salad – heel logic while McIntyre showed good fire while making this match with Ziggler, Ziggler feel personal. Would you agree with that? Yes. No, I didn't. Okay. Th- then didn't make it feel personal. That, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Okay. That's that's where I'm having problems with it. I haven't been able to connect. 